Hey guys, welcome back to Tamiya Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. Um, so this is a slightly different video than I planned. I was supposed to publish the Tamiya Vanquish part one, but I picked this up yesterday. I just thought I'd run it to show you it. Um, I'm a massive Scooby fan. I really am. The original shape in Pretzer. Um, I just love the shape of this car. Um, I actually had one uh, in real life, the 2 litre turbo WRX. Um, as you can see, it was a little bit in your face, but uh, I absolutely loved that car. Anyway, I've been looking for, um, actually I was looking for a vintage um, Impreza, um, something probably on a T or two chassis, um, but the ones I've been looking at, they've not been in great condition. Um, and then as these things go, I finally found a vintage one. Um, I'm not sure on the year, but I, it hasn't arrived yet. It's coming from the UK. It's a TB or two chassis. Um, it's my favorite um, Tamiya Subaru we do. It's a German rally car. Um, it's, it's mainly in orange. Um, so if you haven't seen that, stay tuned for that video when it arrives, because I think it's an absolutely stunning piece of kit. Anyway, um, in between, we have a thing over here in Canada called Kijiji, which is like gum tree. Um, so there's a few cars for sale now and again. Anyway, I saw this little job lot and I thought I'm going to have to have it. Um, so it's on a TT02 chassis, um, which is quite modern, I know. But I've been looking for a TT. I, I wasn't so bothered about Subaru, but I wanted a TT02 because I want to eventually do some sort of speed runs with it. Um, but I also wanted to do some rally footage. Um, so this little lot that I'm about to show you um, is absolutely ideal. So in this little job lot, I'm going to get sort of three different cars out of it, or three different categories of what I'm going to shoot some videos on, which is pretty cool. So let's have a look at what we've got. So as you can see, it's a Subaru Impreza Monte Carlo 99 on a TTR2 chassis. If you're not familiar with this chassis, it's four-wheel drive, um, sort of touring car chassis. Um, it's very plasticky, um, but it's a real good sort of bulletproof chassis. Um, let's have a look at the car. So as I said, I'm an absolutely huge fan of the Impreza original shape. Um, and as we know, Tamiya do fantastic scale um, shells. But I just think this one particularly is absolutely perfect. I believe it's modelled on the Subaru 22B with the flared out wheel arches and things like that. Um, which I'm pretty sure the only was 400 of those cars built. Um, and obviously the high spoiler on the back. Um, let's whiz the shell off. So, interestingly, first of all, this has not been painted. This is some kind of film, the guy who I bought off was telling me. And this will actually peel off in one go, which is awesome. So no paint stripper needed or anything. Somebody bought at some hobby store. He told me the name of it, but I'd never heard of it. So, although I do like the colour, the gunmetal's a great colour. Um, I want to do this in um, the true rally colours. Um, so I'll get some decals on order. I also want to put the driver cockpit in there um, and then obviously get it sprayed the blue with the proper Subaru rally stickers on. As I say, I've, this is the first look at it I've had. I may have to order some new wheels, although they don't look to be in bad condition. But the shell overall is in really good con condition. He's obviously put some LED lights in, but I'll whiz those out and it'll be cut, I'll cover those with decals. Um, and you won't be able to tell there's a hole there. So the shell itself, we're really chuffed with. So that's the first one. Then there's the car, which is, if you've never seen it, it's very basic. Um, it's running standard uh, torque tune motor. It's got a TBLE or two in, I believe. It's got a good servo, a, gear, a, a geared servo, and it's got some Spectrum um, radio gear. So it's the receiver's an SRX200, and I've got the transmitter to match. So as I say, it needs, you can see, it's, it's, it's in used condition um, and it needs a, a bloody good tidy up. But the tyres are in great condition. Um, show you what else we've got. So we've also got this Honda Civic shell with it, um, which is pretty cool. Again, there's no cracks on it. There's a bit of um, repair work needed on the very front of it, which I can do dead easily. Um, again, he said this, although that looks more like paint, I'll have to check that, but um, it's going to stay white anyway, um, but those are stickers on the front and the back, so that's just going to need a set of um, decals for it. Now, obviously with the Subaru shell on, then it's an out and out rally car, but I also got a set of um, drift wheels for it, which, which this came with it, 
um, I know nothing about drifting at all. So I'm looking forward to that sort of the second stage of the car, the, the Honda car. However we finish it, I'll stick the drift wheels on and we'll have some fun trying to drift around the car park. As I said, never done it before, but it's worth trying to make a video on even if I'm crap at it. Um, so that's that. Um, whether I do the car in the rally decals, that's tempting. Um, the the Honda with the green Castrol decals on the white background looks pretty epic. And I think this, from, from looking at the shell at the moment, um, I would say the shell's in good enough nick to do that. Or because this is going to be a drift version, I might make it a little bit more race boyish as opposed to a rally car. I have got some pl plastic um, like touring car wing, sort of a custom thing, which I may be able to adapt to put on the back of this. I'm going to need some... Um, body body mounts for it longer ones um but i think that'll be pretty cool when it's done i i also got this so i also with got it. that um, spectrum transmitter with it which is all matching the car i got some um of the alloy camber links set and they look pretty new and some aftermarket shocks for it they they look pretty cheap ones um whether i'll fit them or not i don't know if they'll be better than the standard we'll have to have a look at that um but not a little bad job lot to be honest so that's obviously in Subaru guys, out and out rally car with the Honda shell on. It's gonna be a drift car. And then thirdly, this is what I wanna do so with it. So the third thing I wanna do with this chassis is make it into a straight line speed machine. Uh, a lot of the speed guys who I know from Facebook use a TT or two, uh, they say it's a perfect chassis for it and there's not a great deal of up upgrades needed. So the first thing I'll, I would change is obviously I'll put the um, alloy um, prop shaft and cups in. I may get the alloy steering set, but as, as I say, once we start stripping this car, I'll, I'll, I'll see what plays in it and what have you. Um, I also need to check if it's fully ball raced. I have no idea if it is. Um, the idea will be to, to get the foam wheels and tyres go slightly wider on the back um, and the narrower foams um, on the front. Um, and then obviously it's pretty much just sort of dialing the setup in to get it at the right ride height, make sure the shocks are, are working and then basically stick a silly brushless motor in it. So I've got that, I can't remember what it is, 59.50kV motor um, which is pretty quick um, and obviously within here we'll be able to go 3S. So the fastest I've been to so far but you've not seen that video yet was the top, sorry the, the um, Terra Conqueror. Um, we hit 54 miles an hour with that. So this thing will be way faster than that once I get the speed tuned gear set in there and all the other tweaks. Um, so I'm not after trying to get ridiculous speeds that these guys are getting because they're putting a load of money in it and they're experts on it. But I've got to be honest, if I could hit 70 miles an hour, I'd be very happy with that. And also one thing I should have said, shell wise, when it's got the foam tires on, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I want a four, I want a saucer, uh, a 110 scale, 190 millimeter, um, like Le Mans style shell. You know, the things that are just so low to the ground. Um, that would be epic and do give it a really fancy paint job. Um, so this little bundle that I've bought, is, it's gonna give me a lot of work and a lot of cool little things for the future, which I'm looking forward this to. This is an ideal little um, purchase for this channel. Um, lots of things to do with it, um, which is fun. I think before I start it all, We'll make sure this radio gears are working and we'll just take this Scooby out as it is and just have a little blast with it. Because uh, I've actually not driven a TTO2, I don't think. I think I've, I've, I've driven a TTO1 but not the TTO2. Um, so it'd be, it'd be fun just to give it a, a blast and, and just to see how it goes. Maybe use a few different batteries in it. Um, probably leave it standard motor for now. Uh, but just have a bit of fun with it on the gravel. Um, and then obviously we'll, we'll probably, the first thing we'll do is get this body, this this whatever this material is, we'll get it stripped out, we'll get it sprayed, we'll get the decals on order, we'll get the canopy on order. Um, so this is going to be absolutely mint and sort of epic 22B Subaru. Um, and then we'll get a rally video made and then after that, or in the meantime, we'll be working on the Honda shell. Whether I go just to, for a race boy look or the rally car, I don't know. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll sort of figure that out as I go. I may even get a canopy, a driver canopy for that, a cockpit for that as well, um, if I go for the rally, because it'll look pretty cool and get some sort of five spoke white wheels for it maybe. 
Um, and we've got the drift wheel, so we can put them on with any shell, really. And then lastly, I'm going to do the speed thing. Um, so I'll get all this finished with, and then we'll have to order these, the, you know, those, I don't know what you call them, but the, like the one-tenth foam wheels and tyres. Um, they're supposed to provide epic grip um, in a straight line on a smooth surface. So I'm also going to have to find a, little, a very long, smooth surface. But that'll be a bit of fun. Um, so I just thought I'd share that with you guys because, as I say, I'm a huge Scooby fan uh, and I just absolutely love them. They're epic. Um, so please stay tuned for when I get my vintage one, which, as I say, is on its way from UK now. Um, and I'll, I'll do a separate video on that because that thing's epic. Um, so once again, guys, thanks for watching. It's much appreciated. And if you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us. And most of all, smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. Uh, and as always guys, happy RC!